Not so long ago, I made this video about three game engines that you probably haven't heard of. And in the comment section, you provided me with a lot of different other engines that I should try. And I've picked three game engines that have more chances to be the next Unity killer. By the way, one of them is AAA ready and 100% free. So if you're interested in that, stick until the end of the video. I'm Adrian, your host, and welcome to Redefine. Imagine Unity and Unreal having a baby. That baby's name might be Flex Game Engine. A true game changer, as they say on their website, I think this game engine has a lot of potential and a lot of features. Of course, not on the same level with Unity, but getting closer each and every day. Let's look at the features and see what does this engine provide. It has support for C Sharp and C++ with hot reload of the code. It has VFX, particles, post-processing. It has animation, audio and navigation. It does have terrain support. By the way, Godot, I'm looking at you right now. It supports multi-platform publishing and much more. What are the pros if you decide to use Flex? Well, one of the pros is the fact that it's a modern engine. And if you check their documentation, they do provide transition guides from Unity, from Unreal and from Godot that make your transition easier. And speaking of documentation, they have a rock solid documentation that you can start learning from it today. It also has sample projects that might be in handy for you when things get tough. It's not open source, but its source is open. That means you can check its source, but of course you have to agree to its end user license agreement. Speaking of cons for Flex Engine, so one of them is the 4% tax on each of your game's revenue if they go over 25,000 US dollars per quarter. Another one is the fact that Flex Engine has a small community, so if you have problems and you need specific help, you might not get it because the Discord and the servers, while they do exist, they're not as big as Unity. And lastly, if you care about privacy, note that Flex by default has the option to send anonymous feedback from the engine to their servers. Should you use Flex or no? As I see Flex is very, very similar to Unity. So probably you're considering either you should use Unity or Flex game engine. And the thing of course goes regarding the pricing model. And there is a catch here, which I want to discuss with you a little and also do some math, but don't worry, I made it already. So I'm just gonna provide some numbers so you can take a better decision regarding which engine is better suited for your needs. Let's find out more. As I mentioned, Flex takes 4% of your game's income if it exceeds 25,000 US dollars per quarter. So that means the year has four quarters. So that means every three months, if your game's sales exceeds 25,000, you have to pay 4% to Flex Game Engine. But things get interesting. For example, if you sell your game on Steam, and let's say you are super lucky, in a year you make 100 thousand US dollars. So that means you have to pay Flax, uh, of course, quarterly, but you have to pay them 4% out of that. But that's the gross revenue. So for example, if your game makes 100,000 US dollars, you have to pay Steam 30% tax. That means 30,000 US dollars, you will get 70,000 US dollars. But Flax Engine doesn't take 4% of your 70,000 US dollars. It takes 4% out of the 100,000. So that means 4,000 US dollars. In contrast, a Unity license regarding that speci specific price point would take you 400 US dollars. And things get interesting as you have like the second project. And in this case, let's say you have two games running in parallel and you get super lucky and you make 200,000 US dollars per year. In which case you would have to pay Flex Game Engine per game. So that means 8,000 US dollars. And you would have to pay a Unity license of just 18, hundred US dollars. So that's a quite big difference. And judging also by the support like asset packs and uh, forums and stuff like this, I say Unity is a better option if you're considering your cost. And of course, it's much easier to get to 20,000 US dollars than get to 100,000 US dollars. So the chances for you paying are high. And you'd say against it, well, it's no problem. If I earn that much, then it's no problem for me to give to the engine. So yeah, and that's a correct argument. But the thing here is if you earn that much, you probably have a company and usually companies optimize costs. So that means that money that you waste by choosing Flex over Unity, you can spend it on marketing, on more assets, on other stuff that might benefit your game in selling more actually. So you have to make a decision here. If the engine offers you something different that Unity doesn't have, which is kind of hard because Unity at the moment is the most popular game engine. So make sure you take this into account when choosing to go with Flex and make a commercial game. By the way, if you're considering game development and don't know where to start, I've prepared this guide called your first steps in game development, which you can download for free in the links down below. 
Next on the list is our machinery. And this is a different kind of game engine. Behind our machinery is a team of people with a lot of years of experience in graphics rendering and marketing and other skills. So it's a quite promising project. The big difference that makes our machinery stand out against other engines is the fact that it's mostly modular and plugin based. For example, Unity and Unreal are monolithic engines. That means they're big with packed with a lot of features that you might not need, but you're still getting them. Unity and Unreal both try to fix this by providing this plugin manager. They're coming from big to small and, um, and our machinery comes from small to big. So they opted for a different version. Let's see what it has in store for us. So speaking of features at a glance, as I said earlier, it's plugin based and super modular. So that's a plus. It also supports the latest rendering APIs. So that's great because that means you can create whatever type of game you want with it. The power of the engine also comes from the data model. It allows real-time collaboration on the project. So that means you don't have to push to a repository and uh, wait for others and take them back and forth, but you instead you actually can, can work on the projects real time together. It is also high performant and easy to use. I think also the pricing is really good at the moment because you have to pay little for a big threshold of money. So regarding pricing, I think it's better than Flax. And also the fact that the founders have solid backgrounds means that the engine has a future and has a vision. As for the cons, I would say that the community is very, very small, so probably even smaller than Flag. This might be a hassle for beginners. And speaking of beginners, they don't have really so many tutorials at the moment, and also the documentation is kind of lacking. So if you're checking that, it's kind of empty right now. So that might be a struggle if you're just starting out game development. Also, if you're concerned about privacy, there is a login. So that means you need an account for trying and using the engine. Should you pick our machinery to make your game? If you're a beginner, you are better sticking with Unity, Unreal or Godot. If you are an advanced game developer, you might give our machinery a shot because it's a totally different game engine and it allows you to have more control over what plugins you have and also you can create your own. If you like the content so far, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to this channel. It helps a lot. Let's move to the last on the list, which is O3DE, standing for Open 3D Game Engine. And what this game engine has is the fact that it's a fully featured AAA game engine provided entirely for free. Kind of cool, right? How can this be possible? Well, in fact, O3DE has the, the biggest contributor and founder is Amazon Web Services. Amazon did have Lumberyard, a fork from CryEngine. O3DE, as I found out, is not open sourcing Lumberyard, but a completely uh, new engine where the developers took what they learned in Lumberyard and put it into a free game engine. Let's look now at some features. And the first one is, of course, the fact that it's open source. For a lot of people, this matters because they can interact with the code. Next, we have the rendering, which is AAA quality. We have also physics simulations and networking by the way unity i'm looking at you now so some pros are of course being open source and another one is that as a FOSS project is actually the first one that provides AAA quality that you can make your games with regarding the cons of course there is not so much learning material though you can still find tutorials on their website it also might require a powerful pc because the specs are for AAA games should you use o3d for your game well, if you're a beginner, you might be better sticking with Unreal Engine because it offers AAA features and the tutorials and the community is far bigger than O3D. But if you are an experienced game developer and you want the freedomness of open source, then you should definitely check out this engine. By the way, links to all of the engines are down below in the description. Which engine do you like the most? Please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm Adrian and see you in the next one.